Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back. It is Coach Kelly Marie here, and I am here to share with you five types of emails that you need to have inside of your course launch funnel. Now, it does not matter whether your course is going to be live, self-study, hybrid, evergreen, or cohort-based, which we talked about in another video. You should have these five emails somewhere in your funnel. My suggestion is that you start with five emails. If you see that you need to make your funnel longer, you can. If you want to make it shorter, you can. It's up to you. But I start everybody off with five. I do not recommend keeping your cart open any longer than seven to 10 days. With a funnel that has five emails in it, if you are scheduling those emails to go out every other day, which is what I suggest inside of your funnel, your funnel is going to be 10 days long, okay? So that is why I start people with five emails because it fits into all of the other parameters and um, recommendations that I have for course launching okay so let's go ahead and hop into these five emails and i'm gonna link in the description box below shameless plug i'm gonna link in the, the description box below a link to some of my um favorite email templates you guys can buy i have a book of 100 do i have the book here you can purchase the digital version which is a little bit more user friendly because you can just copy and paste and fill in the blanks but that'll be in the description box below for y'all okay so the first topic that needs to go in your course launch funnel is testimonials you need to put testimonials in there so if this is your first time launching your course you can definitely use testimonials from previous experiences just be like transparent about where the testimonials are from you don't want people to think that those testimonials are directly from that course because you don't want to mislead people um, just let people know like hey these are testimonials from people that i've previously worked with and i've created this course based off of my positive client experiences or my coaching student experiences or whatever experience you've had before so anyone that you've worked with before where you were able to showcase or teach or utilize the skill set that you're teaching inside of your course those testimonials definitely need to go in an email they do not have to be all video testimonials they don't have to be formal and all that kind of stuff it could be screenshots I would ask the person like if it's something they sent you ask them if it's okay for you to use it but you can use a screenshot I think people actually like screenshots because they know they're not formulated and they know they're real right so just make sure that you put those into an email and you kind of talk about the experiences that clients have had working with you number two you need to talk to have an email that talks about the unique features of your course if you have not done market research please go do your market research I'm just praying to God you're not watching this video have created a course and have not done any market research but you need to know what's inside of your competitor's course now i'm not saying you have to go buy it but you need to know what's in it so that you know how your course is different from their course okay that's the big thing you don't want to see what's in their course so that you can make sure that you got the same stuff in your course or the right stuff in your course you want to go see what's in their course because you want to make sure that there are elements and additions in your course that make it unique and make it stand out and you need to write an email about that especially if you've had a lot of experience with experiences working with people who have previously purchased courses or previously purchased other solutions that did not work for them and for that reason you have gone out of your way to make your course a little bit different or unique or maybe use a different methodology then you definitely want to talk about that in this email the third email you need inside of your course launch funnel is the one thing they need to believe in order to buy this is something that i learned from my mom she is a brilliant master certified life and business coach with years and hundreds and hundreds and thousands of hours of experience and she has a little sticky note on her desk that says what is the one thing they need to believe in order to buy your ideal client is going to have mindset blocks every purchase they make is not going to be an easy purchase and every purchase they make with you is not always going to be an easy purchase they need to believe one thing there's always one thing they need to believe in order to purchase now if you sit down and think about what are the reasons why somebody would not purchase or what are the reasons why people in the past have previously not purchased also what are the reasons why people have decided to purchase everybody has that one reason why they said this is what made the difference for me this is what made me swipe my card this is what made me buy you need to know what that thing is if you don't know what that thing is you need to sit down brainstorm why would somebody not buy your course and you need to come up with an objection or a rebuttal to that 
and or if you've had clients before you could just reach out to your past clients and say hey i'm doing just some research i'm looking over my business and if you don't mind i'd love to ask you what was the one thing that made you finally work with me or what was the one thing that made you say okay this is who i want to work with and y'all those answers are going to give you so much insight probably it's going to blow your mind and it's going to make you change your marketing okay because you should be marketing with that one thing at the center of your messaging and if you have not done this you're probably not doing that right now the fourth email you need in your course launch funnel is three common mindset blocks that stop your ideal client from getting results so not what's stopping them from making a purchase what are three common mindset blocks that stop them from getting results remember people are only purchasing your course enrolling in your course because they want to get a certain result and as their teacher or as their coach you want them to get that result too so it's really important for you to address those common mindset blocks you should honestly have a section in your course where you kind of talk about some of the mindset blocks or maybe it's sprinkled throughout the modules you kind of talk about some of the mindset blocks that stop people from getting results or seeing results but you also want to talk about that in the funnel before they enroll because you want to make sure that you're attracting people who are going to enroll in your course and actually succeed so that you don't get chargebacks or refunds or re refund requests or refund requests but you also want to address it because there are a lot of people who will not make a purchase because they don't believe they can actually get to the solution that they desire and you're going to find that most of your audience is going to fall into that area. It's not that they don't think that you're a good coach or teacher. It's not that they don't believe that your course is worth the price. It's not that they don't have the money. The problem is they're trying to debate, am I really going to be able to get the result that I desire if I purchase this course? Of course, they do have to do some work, right? Like you can't do it all for them. There is some work that they have to put in, but it goes a lot deeper for that than a lot of people. Like people are like, do I have enough time? Like if I purchase this course, am I even going to have enough time to finish it? Am I even going to have enough time to implement what I'm learning from this course? Am I even going to have enough money to implement what I'm learning from this course? Like what is it really going to take? And so they start thinking about all the things. It's not just am I going to buy it or not buy it? It's is this really going to get me to where I'm trying to go? And do I have the capacity, the motivation, the skill and the belief to really make this happen email number five you need to talk about what's at risk if they don't enroll in your course everybody is risking something and fear is just as big of a motivator as pleasure and pain points i don't like to do too much pain point marketing i do like to talk about the pleasure and talk about things that people desire as well but inside of your course funnel you do need to talk about what happens if somebody doesn't enroll like what are they risking are they risking being in the same place they are now next year? Are they risking their health? If you're a health coach and they don't enroll and change their lifestyle habits, are they risking their health? Are they risking, you know, their ability to actively participate in their kids' lives because they can't go up and down the stairs without feeling like they're going to pass out? If your course is about acquiring new business skills, what is someone risking or new service skills in order to increase their business? What are they risking if they don't enroll? Oh, staying at the same income level. You may be risking not being happy or not being able to find a happy relationship. You may be risking your happiness. So if you're a relationship coach, um, you're looking at that. If you're a life coach, they may be risking mentally staying in the same place or they may be risking living the rest of their life inside of their comfort zone and never really achieving their true desires if they don't enroll. Like I said, you want this funnel to be automated. There are a lot of different ways that you can trigger this funnel depending on what type of systems that you have. But if I was you, when someone downloads your lead magnet that is the lead magnet that is in alignment with the upsell of your course, you want to make sure that you send out these emails triggered based off of when someone downloads that lead magnet, which may be like going to your challenge, registering for your webinar, whatever it may be. But make sure that you set up all five of these emails, one going out every other day. Okay. One going out every other day. You can do a hard sell at the end of each of these if you want to, uh, which means you put a buy now button at the bottom. You can do a soft sell, which means the link to enroll is somewhere in what you're writing. You have like a link to enroll, but it's not necessarily a hard sell where there's a button and a countdown timer and all that. You wanna make sure that anybody who's joining your list that's a good fit for your course is getting these five emails specifically. So however you wanna set that up and trigger it is up to you. All right. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. I will see y'all next time. Bye.